guys, it's Ati. And this is Ben. Welcome to the Spotlight. We're really excited to bring you this next piece, especially since it hits so close to home. A night of spoken word poetry, stand-up comedy, and musical performances. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat tonight. Welcome to Black Expression. To answer that, I gotta tell you what black expression is. It's literally just all the positivities of black culture with none of the negativities. It's a place where you can come and be a part of black culture, even if you're not black, and just enjoy the love that we put into this. It's it's a family, it's more than an open mic. One of the things I love about black expression is just like super black, you know what I mean? Just with, you know, the dancing, with the music, with the culture, and I mean, when I say black, it's like understanding that the diaspora went to so many different places. It went to Mexico, went to South America, went to Cuba, you know what I'm saying? So we all have that essence of blackness, regardless of the skin tone or the shade, you know what I'm saying? So it's welcoming to everybody, and it's gonna hit that your heartstrings, you know, that connection to the culture. It means family, it means culture, it means um, just embracing who you are, you know, there's, there's so many like just obstacles set up for you to kind of not find your identity to become what society wants you to become. And I believe through black expression we're able to defy ourselves and our own identities and who we want to be as people. So, like. All right, guys, I'm here with one of the co-founders of Black Expression, one of my favorite people, Miss Sakia Martin. Look at you, looking all cute. How you feeling today, Ma? I'm good. It's been a very good day, actually. Good day, good day. OK, so let's get down to it. So when starting Black Expression, was there anything that like kind of scared you about the idea of starting this, especially in this day and age? Was there anything that like freaked you out a little bit? Things that I was a little nervous about at first was just numbers. I was like, are people gonna come out? Like, I know that it's cool, but are people gonna come here? Who knows? But slowly and surely we started building numbers and more and more people started coming and I was like, okay, bet. Awesome, awesome. So why black expression? Especially in this day and age, why is something like black expression so important and valid? I would have to say that Black expression is super important. Just considering everything that's going on around us, I feel like so often we're made to feel like our voices don't matter and we kind of silence ourselves even. And so having something like this is just a reminder, like this is a space for everyone to come and just feel safe. Because a lot of times we don't feel safe when we're out there. Like we don't feel safe. And this is a safe space to come and express yourself however you want to, however you want to show up. So I think it's super important. That's dope, that's dope. I love it, I love it. I just love your spirit. You're just so, yes. So there you have it, folks. That's the rundown on Black Expression with Sakia. We're gonna go ahead and check out one of our other co-founders. See you soon. Just look at all the things that we've gone through. Wake up. Oh, I just wanna be with you. We're here with one of the co-founders and the host of Black Expression, Mr. Jeff Devante. Jeff, how are you doing? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? All right, so I have a couple questions for you. Yeah. How, how did Black Expression get started? Who are the key players? What was the intent for it? Yeah, um, so Black Expression actually was an idea of Ronald Williams, and uh, he wanted a space where people can feel comfortable and go in and express themselves um, the way they wanted to, and that was, you know, a space for people of color. And so um, he had the idea, uh, him and Sakia kind of like were putting together the first show, and like before everything was solidified, I kind of jumped in. Sakia was actually supposed to be the original host, but uh, I jumped in and I was like, hey, hey, let me host. Let me host. And so um, I hosted the first show, and then ever since then, like, we just we just been popping and grinding and moving with it. So that's just, like, how everything started. Yeah. So how do you feel about the growth of, like, stretching? Because I remember the days of Caribbean, yeah. Caribbean pleasures, yeah. and now we're here at the church, yeah. over 100 people every night. How, how does that feel? Ah, oh, man. Um, honestly, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing feeling. You know, I feel blessed to be in the position that we're in. Uh, all glory to God and everything that we do. Um, and it, it just it's it's amazing to see the fact that you know we do promotion 
but a lot of of everything like a lot of the people that come in especially the new faces it's really just word of mouth and and it's like oh i heard it from my friend or i heard it from this friend or this friend so the fact that people are telling their friends and like they're getting their people involved and like to come to black expression the growth just seeing that growth is amazing it's, it's awesome and it's a wonderful feeling like i just love it i love it so let's say that someone that's watching this has never been a black expression why should they come out to black expression man y'all look i'm gonna tell you right now you need to come to black expression for a few reasons number one you feel like family when you come here we treat everybody like family nobody gets disrespected everybody feels welcome and feels secure and then also it's just dope vibes like we got our dj dj cliff he be playing some dope music he be mixing it up with like the 90s hip-hop with the new age and he really does his thing on the uh on the turntables and whatnot but um it's 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 a, it's a great feel it's a great vibe people enjoy their their time when they're here they enjoy the company that they have sitting next to them and so it's just a really awesome feel when you come into the black expression when you step into the church you just like I need to be here just like that feeling of like I need to be here so yeah Settled over great ink, reminding that you ain't gotta wait for the morning to be rising. I said it, black man is natural uh, God. So we gotta rap and get it. all odds. It's all odds. Just look at all the things that we've gone through. Oh, I just wanna be with you. We're outside the venue with the, one of the co founders of the church, Mr. Real J. Wallace. Hey, nice to meet you. I uh, see. So could you talk to us about what the church is and what it offers? The church is a communal creative space for the community. Uh, it plays off the idea of religion and very much art and the community is our religion. We offer event space, we have a music studio, we reach out to the community and we uh, go out and feed the homeless and clothe the homeless with freshly baked with their lunchtime lookouts. Uh, we just, we just look out for people, especially the creatives that are out there and that are trying to find a way when they're very much a minority in society. So we give them a, a home, a safe space. Could you talk more about the music studio? The music studio is called Holy Field and it's been a long time coming. This is our second attempt at the Holy Field recording and the first one got destroyed right down the street. So we came into this one a lot more prepared and just bringing all of our ideas together to have culture penetrate the studio and that same safe space and environment where you can pull out good energy from people. That's what the holy field. That's what that's what that is. It's a field. It's an energy. This is simple. I will never die. A new day has come with a sight. A third eye. This is just a. This is this is this is this is this is just a interlude. Go ahead, get up, get some food. Come back real quick. It's all cool. So if you watch the second episode of our show, you might recognize a little song called Jewels by the man here, Chris Skywalker. Chris Walker, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. Just got done performing. Uh, yo, what's up, guys? Everything's groovy. Everything's groovy. Right on. So this isn't the first time you come here to Black Expression. What, what, what brings you? What brings you back? Well, I go to another open mic called Lyrical Exchange off of. Uh, Ohio Street in North Park is every Tuesday. I was told about this open mic like probably like last summer I think. It was every Friday and I go to open mics to try to you know get my stuff out there a little bit more you know more publicity for me so I went to this one when it was back in Benita and then the vibe was just it was awesome. It was cool for a Friday night open mic so ever since then I come every now and then if I can make it but yeah probably from the other open mic I went to this one and then it's, it's history ever since there, yeah. A shout out to The Block one time for featuring that video and that song. Love y'all. Go ahead, get up, get some food. Come back real quick, it's all cool. Yeah, it's all cool. It's Just, they're magic. It's magic how they can make people feel so safe and so comfortable. That's what we all strive to do. So we're that place as the church where we link up with the like minds. If you're making people feel comfortable in expressing, we want to work with you. That it was an energy that I just could not ignore. I had to keep coming back, and there's never been a shortage of energy for me whenever I come here. The level's always high, people are always happy. There's always such great talent every week, continually, and, and it's just, it never lets up. So that's the reason why. It, it's almost to a point where if I didn't go to a Black Expression event on Friday night, I just feel like empty. It wouldn't, I wouldn't feel me, you know? I feel like a lot of us were kind of like 
the weirdos or the misfits or the outcasts and here everybody's accepted for their their abilities or their differences and you're accepted like truly accepted for who you are as a person no matter your race religion color ethnicity um sexual preference like everyone is accepted here I mean, we have a good bond. I mean, we connect, and I think that's going to be what's going to keep us running is our bond with each other and our how we go out here and have fun and, like, enjoy the music that we listen to, enjoy the poets that come up. That's what really keeps us going and keeps us doing this thing. Come out here and feel free to express. Why should you come? Because it's amazing. As we continue to grow, the family continues to grow, and we continue to like help each other out. We continue to meet new people and just find out new things about ourselves. So, like, if you're in the like, you know, empowerment period for your community, for yourself, definitely come out to Black Expression. They got way too much for us to take off my jacket. Ooh, I got way too dancing. Anyway, we'd like to thank the church for allowing us to use their space. We'd like to thank everyone that performed. That was very generous with us. I'm just very happy y'all got to see that and experience that with us. So thank you. Be sure to check out more Black Expression at 2185 Logan Avenue. And as always, stay, stay righteous, righteous, San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> hey, 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 That's my boy. That's my boy. Hey, come through, come through, come through. Hey.